Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2017 general readings. And thank you so much for joining me here today and welcome to any newcomers who are with us. Thank you uh, for continuing to watch and listen and follow my YouTube channel for those of you who do and for taking the time to write uh, your wonderful feedback and comments. Thank you also to my regular clients for allowing me to be a part of your lives as they move forward and for the regular feedback you send on how the readings continue to play out in your lives. And just a general thank you to those of you who continue to keep me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It's an honor and a pleasure always to read for you and I am grateful for the trust that you place in me to do so. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading with me, you can click on that little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage, <clears throat> excuse me, which will give you a little more information and my contact address, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you or anyone you uh, might choose to purchase a gift reading for. I do a variety of types of readings uh, and lengths of time, live or recorded. And particularly popular right now is the love compatibility relationship spread I do, which is I always get a lot of orders for around Valentine's Day. And also the 12 month yearly overview uh, outlook that I do, which is you can do at any time of the year. It simply covers 12 months from the time of the reading, but it seems to be most popular at the end and the beginning of a new year. So moving right along, this is a general reading and there's thousands of you watching. So of course it's not going to mean the same thing in detail and degree uh, for everyone who watches. I mean, how could it really? Uh, so make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos as well. They may play out a little more predictably for you than your primary sun sign. And just by watching all three, you uh, will probably get additional pieces of insight and clarity into what's going on in your life over the time frame that the reading covers, which in this case is the last half of February. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get into this. This reading is for Capricorn for February 2017, mid-month. What does the remainder of February 2017 have in store for the Earth sign of Capricorn? Capricorn, February 2017, mid-month. What do the next couple of weeks have in store for the Earth sign of Capricorn? Capricorn, February 2017, mid-month. Okay, Capricorn, let's begin. We have the Emperor followed by the Empress power couple. We have the Tower followed by the Lovers, the Ten of Wands followed by the Queen of Pentacles, Justice followed by the Ace of Swords, and from the bottom of the deck your overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Wow, Capricorn, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards out of nine. Strong divine timing and orchestration. And I have to say, the tower card is in here and a lot of people kind of clench up when they see it because it 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 often represents the the unexpected out of our control removal or destruction of something in our life but really it, it's neutral energy it represents something coming in in an unexpected kind of way that really shakes everything up and it can at the time feel negative or challenging or feel positive but it's something that completely changes the landscape and uh, you know kind of blows our mind um, and I have to tell you, for the majority of you, it feels like this is something really blessed and really positive, something which is kind of coming in and just changing everything. There's always the outside chance that for a smaller portion of you, it could mean an ending to something, but I think there is definitely something coming to an end, but I think it's a really happy, blessed uh, sort of thing. It's an extraordinary lineup of cards, Capricorn. You know, Taurus had a very amazing one too. So uh, something with the Earth signs for February mid-month. And I don't have very much of that in my chart at all. So happiness to you. All right, let me just take a, a minute to look this over again. Okay, Capricorn. We begin with the energy of the Emperor and the Empress. You know, I feel like for a lot of you, uh, I mean, this is one of the, the 
powerful couples of the tarot, the emperor and the empress. Um, they represent um, both of the best of structure, discipline, perseverance, uh, the, the quintessential father or paternal figure with the empress, who's the quintessential earth mother, loving, nurturing, uh, very feminine and sensual. I feel like for a lot of you, um, this is a, uh, this is coming across first and foremost as a relationship spread. Now, for those of you for whom this does not, is not going to resonate as a relationship reading and aren't at all interested in kind of that area of your life, uh, you may want to check your rising and moon sign. This may not play out for you. This could also be individual. It doesn't have to be a we thing. Uh, the emperor or the empress could represent somebody else in your life who's significant. That's not a love romance partner. But there is the sense of uh, something coming in and really kind of shaking everything up. But again, for I feel like it's really positive for most of you. So we start with the emperor and the empress. So the emperor is a card about the energy of the emperor is structure, discipline, uh, kind of going things by the books, perseverance, uh, playing by the rules, crossing your T's, dotting your I's. The emperor can represent uh, uh, a father or a paternal figure. This could be some of you may be dealing with, um, you know, your father or having something to do with father figure, father issues, somebody who's playing that role in your life. Just the energy of the emperor is cautionary about needing to be structured, disciplined, um, to make sure to cover all of your bases, particularly because it looks like there are some pretty incredible things going on in your life over the next couple of weeks, Capricorn. So make sure to kind of maintain a balance between uh, being prepared, trying to be as prepared as possible. For some of you, although I think this is a smaller portion of you, the energy of the emperor and empress, especially looking at the rest of the spread, some of you, there may be a relationship, uh, a primary relationship that's coming to, uh, that's going through some major changes. Some of those changes could be something coming to an end because something is being revealed or illuminated and some major decisions need to be made. Um, For some of you, this is not relationship oriented, but this is legal. I'm getting there's some kind of legal situation or legal case that you're involved in. There is an end to this coming, a conclusion, and it is going to be a successful conclusion for you. Uh, the outcome or decision is going to be in your favor. The emperor and the empress together representing kind of a decision making body or somebody which ha is in a position of some status and authority. Um, for others of you, it's a couple energy. And for some of you, this has got to do, there's some kind of paternal energy coming in as well. So we have the Empress paired with the Emperor, which is the traditional Earth Mother of the Tarot. She is feminine sensuality. She is also uh, about fertility, pregnancy, rebirth. This is uh, also about the time being right to plant the seeds to begin to grow some, to grow and manifest and create something new. The Empress showing up is the green light in terms of beginning something new. It's not a completion card, but it, it is about new beginnings and the time being right to start to manifest something, to put something into action, to begin to set something, set the wheels into motion with something. And what this something is, I mean, it's kind of getting kind of a confusing barrage. It's a for wide variety of things. Some of you, this is a legal situation. There's endings and beginnings kind of tied up in here as well. A legal situation is coming to an end, but there's a decision that needs to be made on how you proceed forward based on that decision. Some of you, this is something major coming in that has to deal with your father. And again, decisions need to be made about a relationship. I'm not getting a sense of negativity or challenge around it, but it's something unexpected that's coming in, which requires uh, some very significant decisions and choices being made. As a couple, you may be being asked to make these decisions together. Um, it does represent something which has 
felt or is becoming a burden and cumbersome or just a cross you've had to bear coming to an end, but it is working out in your favor and you do end the month with justice on your side and a new perspective. It'll be interesting to see what the feedback is because it's kind of muddled at right now. There's a lot of different things this could be for a lot of different people. Now we move into the energy of the tower paired with the lovers. So the tower, another major arcana card, you have a strong sense of divine timing and orchestration at play here over the next couple of weeks. I mean, phenomenal that you have five major arcana cards out of nine. The tower card represents uh, kind of a bolt of lightning out of the blue, unexpected, coming in out of your control that really rocks your world. It really shakes something up. Now, what that something is could be, and it could represent something that comes in and it's, it's a wonderful, extraordinary, blessed thing, totally unexpected and shakes up your world in a good way. And sometimes at the time, this could represent the destruction or removal of something in your life that you may have thought was solid or stable that you're attached to which at the time feels maybe painful, challenging, or negative. In retrospect, it's always something that needs to go, something which is harming us or something which has served its purpose and needs to go. And typically, uh, we've often been given opportunities to do with it ourselves but have been unwilling or unable to. And so at some point, the universe comes in and kind of does it for us, and usually very quickly and very suddenly. And again, there is a small portion of you for whom that could be the case, something ending in a way that feels maybe very difficult or challenging, but it's something which has to go because uh, even though this man thought this tower, this his home, which was built out of a brick and mortar was very solid and stable, it's really not. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been able to be destroyed. So it needs to be kind of removed so that something real and stable and foundational can be built in its place. Now the tower is now the, and the key I have to say the key to understanding and utilizing the energies of cards like the the tower major arcana cards like the tower because they're coming in is out of our control because it's it's divine energies of God spirit your angels guides is to not try and fight it to try and accept it as best as we can particularly if it's something we view as as challenging or difficult um, because it makes it a little easier to move through and a little quicker to move through. And there's always something better on the other side of it. Now, the tower is paired with the lover's card, which represents a choice, a decision, uh, and typically one which affects more than just you. This could be a relation. This could be a decision, a choice that affects another person, a primary relationship, a home, or a family unit. In the early tarot decks, this is not called the lovers. It was called the, the choice, and it depicted a man standing in front of two women. And the implication was a decision needed to be made, which was going to affect the lives of more than just the person making the decision. So again, whatever this unexpected event is coming in. Uh, you're, it's going to require you to make a significant and profound decision that's going to have an impact not just on your life but on the lives of people around you. Some of you this could be around your father or a father figure. Some of you this is about uh, you and your partner as a couple. Some of you this is a legal situation, a decision coming in or something happening within the course of, of this suit that uh, is very unexpected. It's something that you, you didn't see coming. It's requiring a decision, a significant and profound decision. So take your time in making this decision. But it does represent something coming to an end in a positive way. There is a burden coming to an end. We have next the Ten of Wands, which is fire energy, which is the element which governs the suit of wands. It's a very active, dynamic suit. It's all about creating and building and manifesting. Tens represent the end of a cycle, the coming full circle of something. And it's right next to the Tower, which is also a card about something coming to an end so something new can begin. And that, that Tower card energy could also represent a belief system or a very important foundational way of looking at something coming to an end too, because you do end the month with a new perspective. So the Ten of Wands represents a cross perhaps that you've had to bear coming to an end. Something which maybe started out as not so heavy but has become rather cumbersome, a burden, it's coming to an end. He's at the 10, you can see his head is up and he's looking at his destination, uh, that place that uh, is within sight now where he can lay his burden down and stand up and take a deep breath. 
And I always get a long-standing feeling off the Ten of Wands, meaning that this burden he's carrying, he's carrying it successfully, but it is very heavy. And I always feel like he's been carrying it for quite some time that maybe it started off with just a couple of wands, but slowly increased until it became so heavy he couldn't even stand up straight. So whatever it is, whatever this unexpected change is, these decisions that you're going to be making, something is coming to an end and it's going to free you from something and allow you to kind of come back into your own again. Because that Ten of Wands is paired with the Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy, your element, your sign, and I'm feeling your energy off of this Capricorn for the majority of you. The Queen of Pentacles, somebody, Queens and Kings representing people who have reach the achievement of their suit. So grounded, solid, stable, reliable. Uh, she's also uh, kind of an earth mother of the tarot as well. She's a nurturer. She's very capable in the day-to-day -day world that we live in. She's the woman that, uh, or man, that kind of, you know, works her job. Her house always looks good. The kids always look good. The, the grass is always mown. The roses are always trimmed. She volunteers twice a month at the local charity. She just has this uh, way of, of, of navigating the day-to-day -day world that she lives in and making it look effortless and the one that everybody kind of comes to. Uh, she's kind of the anchor, the rock of strength, uh, uh, just really in her element of that earth energy, which I'm feeling first and foremost is you. It's, it's as if whatever these changes are occurring, these decisions that you're making, whatever's coming to an end, Capricorn, it allows you to come into your full strength and power again quite an, a very powerful, extraordinary reading. Can't wait to hear what how, what this is for those of you for whom it resonates, because I'm getting about 20 different storylines here. So we end the month at or towards the end of February 2017 with Justice, accompanied by the Ace of Swords. So Justice is another major arcana card. This is the outcome, the decision being fair, being just, and dependent on the facts, the logic, the information, and proven motivations. It represents things typically working out in your favor, contracts and negotiations working out in your favor. However it works out, it is going to be fair and equal and just. But I feel like for you, particularly in legal situations and any contracts, uh, or agreements, Capricorn, you're going to come out on top. It's going to be definitely in your favor. And you end the month and, and go into March 2017 with a brand new perspective, a different way of looking at something with truth and illumination because we have the Ace of Swords here as well. Air energy, that's the element that governs swords. Swords is all about how we look at things, our belief systems, words, ideas, communications, our outlooks and perspectives. Aces, of course, represent new beginnings, potential, the seeds of something which could really grow into their full potential if they're taken care of and nurtured. The Ace of Swords, the energy of swords is also about truth and clarity. So the Ace of Swords comes in and it cuts away all the extraneous illusion and exposes something for the truth of what it is, the reality of what it is. Uh, it illuminates and clarifies. This is kind of your aha, epiphany moment, the light bulb going off over your head seeing something in its reality, in its truth, or seeing something with a fresh new perspective in reality. So, um, and it also could be, especially in any legal issues, uh, the reason justice is working out in your favor is because truth is revealed. Something is brought to the surface, something is brought to light, which illuminates everything. And um, there's a sense of vindication and, and wrongs being right at something being restored to you. So very interesting, very powerful combination of cards. Now, I mean, five major iconic cards and two aces. Again, I feel like whatever the shakeup is for the majority of you, it's very, very positive. Uh, even though what's coming to a close is something that's been kind of burdensome and cumbersome, but whatever's coming in to shake up things and kind of reveal and illuminate is a positive and needed and necessary thing. And it's new beginnings. You're off in new beginnings at the end of the month and going into March. Your overall card echoes that as well. The Ace of Wands, overall energy, another ace. This is uh, uh, the Ace of Wands. Wands is fire energy. So this is creating, building, manifesting. This is a brand new beginning that's action oriented. This is about actively building, creating, and manifesting. Again, whatever's drawing to a close, the decisions that you need to make from it, you're being set free from something. You're looking at something in a different way. Uh, a different perspective, a fresh perspective, and you're building and creating and manifesting something new. You're at the start of a new beginning again.
I keep getting this phrase, new lease on life in, in the back of my head. So again, for those of you for whom this reading, this very powerful reading resonates, please write in and let me know what the specifics of this are because I'm very curious. Um, I usually don't end a reading uh, quite so cloudy, but again, there's a lot of different storylines coming through here, so it could be a variety of different things. But overall, very, very powerful energy. People's lives are going to be changing as a result of this, uh, both this unexpected energy coming in and the decisions that you make going forward into these new beginnings. Very, very powerful. So Capricorn, that pretty much wraps up your February 2017 mid-month readings. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it useful. Again, if anyone would like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, please feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be very happy to work with you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the March 2017 general readings. And until then, as always, Capricorn, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.